Hello and welcome to another episode of Geared Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I am so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. Today we are talking about Honey Badger Knives. I'm a huge fan, as you can probably tell from what you see before you. And today we're going to talk about the guy that is standing front and center. And that is a new blade shape, a new color. It is the Worn Cleaver in blue, in D2 steel. And I really like it. I really, really like it. Uh, I've got a couple kind of small nitpicks uh, that are not deal breakers that we will talk about, um, but there's kind of a, a fun story too behind how I came to own this knife. Uh, so let's start with uh, what's on the table. So this knife I just recently did a video on. This is the new blue color, obviously, in size medium, 8CR13 blade steel drop point. Okay, did a video on that knife kind of introducing the new color that was just released uh, in the last couple of weeks. And I can't, the blue color is just, it's totally killer. These six here are, are mine that I've owned for quite some time. I bought all six of these uh, on Amazon over the last several years. These are all size medium and these are all size small. They do also offer the Honey Badger in a size large. I've handled them a number of times and it's just not for me, uh, so I got all of the size smalls in all of the colors that they offered them in. And I got all of the mediums in all of the colors that they were offered in. And I love them so much. So then fast forward to a couple weeks ago, they came out with this blue color and you guys know I love blue. So I had to pick this up. I bought this directly from Honey Badger from the website uh, westernactive.com, which is the USA distributor for Honey Badger knives, which is a South African company. Um, and I love it. So we've got the blue honey badger in medium. And I really want a blue honey badger in small so bad. So honey badger, if you're listening, um, I know a lot of people were asking for that. So give us a, a size small because currently the blue, anything with a blue handle, doesn't matter what blade shape, if it has a blue handle, you can only get it in size medium or in size large. So that's kind of my honey badger journey, if you will. Uh, this guy is a new player in my life, and I'm going to explain how I came to, to own this knife. So let's get these guys kind of back here just a little ways. We're going to focus on this knife and do a little bit of comparison with this guy here. But I will tell you that this knife was sent to me by Honey Badger Knives. And it was a really surreal experience for me because I, uh, if you've watched the channel for a long time, you've you've heard me say this. I used to refer to myself often as an internet knife non-expert, non-celebrity, in that I'm not a big deal. Uh, I've got a channel with some subscribers that, that are loyal, that I love, but I am not a big deal. People don't know me. I don't have industry influence, and, and that's those aren't things that I want or that I am... Uh, kind of seeking, uh, but that's just the reality. I'm just, I'm kind of small beans and that's totally cool. So when I did the video on this knife, I posted it and I posted about it on Instagram. And that same day I got a message directly from Honey Badger Knives USA on Instagram. And they said, hey, would you like to check out this new Warren Cleaver? Because it sounds like you're a big fan of the size medium knives with finger choils. And I said, yeah, I am. It sounds like actually you've been reading my diary, Honey Badger, because that's exactly what I have in my wish list is the new Worn Cleaver blade shape. And so they said, you know what, Sean, dreams do come true. They didn't actually say that, but they sent me this knife and they sent it to me free of charge. And I am super grateful. It was a, uh, if you've ever seen a celebrity like in an airport, like from a distance and you're like, oh my gosh, did you, can you believe that? Like, that's kind of how I felt. I, I felt very humbled that Honey Badger Knives USA would even even make contact with me. So uh, it made me feel good, made me feel super grateful and humbled. And uh, so thank you for, for the knife, Honey Badger Knives. Um, so let's talk about, let's do this. Let's do a couple size comparisons so you can see what the size of medium stacks up against. We'll do some basic specs. And then what I'd like to do is compare the worn cleaver to kind of the previous versions because there's some things that are different even that are different between these two knives even though they're both essentially brand new uh, so let's do some size comparisons what are we looking at here here is a k-bar dozier 
Let's line these guys up here. And they're going to be super close, I think. Yeah, really close. I think the Honey Badger is maybe eighth of an inch longer than the Dozier. And the handle length, if we scoot the handles back, is pretty darn close. So there's the Dozier. Here's a bug out. I'm guessing these are going to be pretty close too. Yeah, bug out's a little bit longer, but super, super close. And then lastly, here is an Ontario Rat Model 2. And that's a good, basically a full half an inch shorter. And just for fun, let's compare that to a size small Honey Badger. This again is the medium, which is my preferred size. Let's see what the small looks like compared to a Rat 2. Yeah, the small Honey Badger is small, but I love it. Even though I have big old hands, I love it. It's so, it's just, it's great. And it's adorable. So there is that. So size comparisons are done. Let's bring the Warren Cleaver back in here and let's talk about the manufacturer specifications and I'll tell you kind of the real world what we're actually looking at. So handle material is going to be a fiberglass reinforced nylon. Your blade steel on this particular example is gonna be D2. They also do offer it in 8 CR13 MOV. Your price point is 57 US dollars. The blade length is advertised as 3.2 inches. Your actual cutting edge is less than three inches. It's about three and three quarters, three and seven eighths, somewhere in that range. And your handle length is just over four inches, which is gonna give you an overall package from tip to the end of your handle of about 7.3 inches. What does this guy weigh? Seven and a half inches. It's got more steel on the blade, I think probably, maybe, maybe not, um, maybe not, but you know, seven and a half inches, it's got some liners, there's a little bit of milling. What do you think? Three ounces, something like that? Let's find out. Because it doesn't say on the website, but I think it's probably, I'm gonna say three ounces. If it's less than three ounces, I'll be impressed. So here's a medium honey badger, the new Warren Cleaver. Ooh, just under three ounces, 2.92. I am liking that. How does that compare to the drop point, I wonder? So we had 2.92 on the Warren Cleaver. 2.89, so almost almost identical on the weights. Let's throw a small guy up here just for fun because I do like these small ones. 2.53, so there's your weights. So they're all under three ounces, which is nice. I do like that a lot. So that is that. So what do you think of the blade shape? You guys like that? I think their drop point is one of the most attractive classic drop point blade shapes of any knife, period. I think Honey Badger's drop point is just almost perfect for me. Um, so having said that, what do you guys think of the Warren Cleaver? I'm digging it, and here's why. I don't like Cleaver knives. I think they're dumb. I think they look goofy. I don't think they're super useful. In terms of like a folding knife that is a true Cleaver blade shape, it's just not, it's not for me. I get everyone has their preference, but it's not for me. When I look at this, I don't I don't really think cleaver at all. I would, if somebody showed me this knife and said, name that blade, I would say that is a modified Warncliffe. That's what I would call it. I think it it's kind of like a utility knife is kind of how I see this being used. And I think it's pretty excellent. I like the look, I really do. It's not too cleaver-ish. Again, I, I think it's much more of just a modified uh, Warncliffe and I like it. So, what is different between kind of the newer Honey Badger and your standard Honey Badger? So let's set the Warren Cleaver here for just a second and just kind of talk uh, apples to apples between these two. Well, we kind of touched on it in the last video, but basically it's this. You've got the Honey Badger insignia here on the blade where you didn't used to have it. The pocket clip also has the Honey Badger uh, insignia where it used to say Ultratech and the pocket clip itself is swappable for right-handed or left-handed carry, which it is not on the old version. So that's kind of your main differences with this knife versus this knife. Same blade steel, same size, same materials, all that good stuff, just a couple cosmetic changes. So having said that, what is different between these two knives? Uh, just a couple things. So it's gonna have the same 
markings in terms of having the honey badger on the blade, having the honey badger on the pocket clip. This one is in D2 steel, which is marked on the blade. So all of that's the same. One thing that is different that I really like is the backspacer. So if you'll recall from the video I did on this knife, all honey badgers previously came with a backspacer that matched the knife. So I haven't done anything with any of my small honey badgers, so you'll notice the backspacers are all the same color as the knife, as the handles. So monochromatic, which is fine, not a bad look. But what I did with this knife is I swapped the backspacers on all of these knives. So I put a black backspacer in this knife for a little contrast. I took that blue backspacer, put it in this knife for that same contrast, right? You guys remember that? Well, the new Warren Cleaver comes factory with a black backspacer, which I think is excellent. So there it is, there's your black backspacer. So that is one difference between the Warren Cleaver edition and the non-Warren Cleaver. Uh, another change is the pocket clip is a different color. It's black instead of stainless. And I don't really know how I feel about that, to be honest with you. My general preference is this. I prefer the blade, the hardware, and the pocket clip to all be the same finish. So, you know, stainless, 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 or stonewash, 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 or black, 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 whatever. I kind of like that continuity of color and finish. So I don't really love that we have a satin blade stainless hardware and then a black clip. To me, it just feels a little out of place. Although I do like the way the clip looks, it's kind of a matte finish, it looks super nice. I just, it feels a little out of place. I may even consider swapping the pocket clips on these two knives and just put the black clip on the black honey badger and put the stainless over here on this guy. What do you think? Would you prefer a stainless or do you like the black? I'd love to hear your feedback. So let me know what you think pocket clip, swap or no swap, and what do you think about the blade shape in general? Because I think it's pretty cool. The drop point obviously has been a good seller for Honey Badger, but I do like that they're branching out with another new blade shape, which uh, brings me to a point that I'd, I'd be remiss to not mention. This is not the only blade shape that Honey Badger has available. For a very, very long time, they've had uh, a couple other blade shapes. They have a I think they call it the claw. It's essentially like a hawk bill. And they also have a, uh, what do they call it, the hook? It's like a gut hook. Um, it's, it's essentially a drop point with a gut hook on the back side, uh, and then the drop point. So they have like three blade shapes that they've, that they've always offered. Uh, this is just their newest blade shape, uh, the Warren Cleaver. So you do have at least four options for blade shape, different sizes, small, medium, and large. I am not a fan of the large size honey badger. I've handled them a number of times. I just prefer the medium. So what else is different? Well, we've got a thumb ramp on the worn cleaver just by nature of the blade shape and the design. We also have a different finger choil, which uh, kind of is important to me uh, in this case. So let's talk about the blade shape and the thumb ramp. And it kind of comes into play with the, uh, with the finger choil. So here, here's, kind of how I feel. If you look at the size of the finger choil on this knife, it's pretty generously sized. Some people will say it's quite aggressive and sharp under there with that with that texturing. Uh, and I get that. For me, it's not a huge issue, just kind of the way I hold it and kind of the direction that I pull my finger. So I can, I can use it comfortably and, and it's not an issue. So the finger choil is usable for me on this knife. This finger choil is physically smaller in dimension than this one. If I can get them side by side well enough, you can probably tell that this finger choil is just literally smaller and I can't use it. Um, with my extra large size hands, if I try to wrap my index finger into this finger choil, you will notice that I will 100% cut myself every single time. It's just not big enough. So for me, I will have to choke back and just use the handle, which is okay. Like I can live with that. And what that does is it actually puts my thumb naturally on this thumb ramp, which is I think very almost perfectly jimped. So for me, this grip is very, very comfortable and very, very uh, useful. 
So I'm just gonna basically ignore that finger choil. I'm never gonna use it. So for me, I would just rather have more cutting edge. Just take the blade all the way back because unless you have really small fingers, that's not a finger choil. That's really, to me, it's just a giant sharpening choil is kind of the way I look at it. So that's one uh, of my gripes based on my preference. Um, and uh, that's really it, honestly, is, is the, the finger choil. The things like the, uh, the pocket clip, that's, it's a pocket clip, who cares? I can, I can get over that. None of these things would, would prevent me from purchasing the knife, uh, but my constructive feedback to Honey Badger would be to, uh, on, on the uh, worn cleaver, just lose the finger choil because it's, it's really not useful. Maybe on the size large, uh, the large size worn cleaver, uh, I imagine the dimensions are, are larger, so that one may be okay, but on the medium, I just don't see that being usable for, for, for a lot of people. So uh, not loving that, but not a deal breaker by any means. As far as the quality control, the construction, the action, the lockup, it's all just excellent. I mean, it's just, it's so good. I mean, the centering is dead perfect, as it is on every single Honey Badger that I've ever owned or handled. The lockup is nice and strong with a liner lock at about 30%. No up and down play. There's no lock rock. You've got a stop pin back there and also a little bit of texturing on the actual FRN itself. You do have some milling, as you can see, in the liners to lighten it up. That's why it's less than three ounces. It's super easy to disengage. I mean, there's just a generous kind of scalloped area here that you can get your thumb into. There's no lock stick. And what I do is I just let the flipper tab kind of bounce off my thumbnail and then just kind of let gravity take over. And it's just so stupid smooth that it just kind of wants to close on its own. So very well executed in, in my experience with the examples that I personally own, the quality control and consistency is just, it's on point. So I'm, I'm liking what Honey Badger is doing. I like the new color. I like the new blade shape. Uh, and give us more, give us more colors. Give us a, an orange one, a purple one, a green one, a yellow one, go crazy. Um, because I, I like them, I'll, I'll buy them all. So uh, yeah, that's it. That is the Warren Cleaver Honey Badger in size medium. And if I didn't mention, I think I did 57 US dollars on westernactive.com uh, or I think $36 for the drop point in uh, a lesser blade steel. And uh, yeah, a lot of these are on Amazon. So I'll, I'll find some links and make sure you have a way to find these if, if you happen to be interested. But that's it. That's the uh, Warren Cleaver Blue Honey Badger in D2. Thank you to Honey Badger USA for sending it. I'm just really grateful. It was, I don't really know what else to say. I'm very, uh, it was a very gracious thing of them to, to send it to me. So uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave your feedback in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Honey Badger knives, on the blade shape, on the pocket clip color, all those things we talked about. Let me know what you think. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon.